Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I already discussed about that things we do. If you go to that post and here there is a comments option. So if you click on the comments, all the post related comments will be visible on here. And also in particular that position, I added one of the option for the replay. So if you click on the replay, then it should be redirected to the replay with this ID. Now here I want to add some of the comments and here if you click on the submit, then it should be redirected to our comments list space. So but now I want to actually store that data. So whatever the things you want to add that comment in particular that position and if you click on the submit, it should be stored in our database. So here, if you go to that position, there is our comments database table. So it should be saved on particular that position. So for doing this, I already discussed about that things with you in our replay page. Like if you go to our replay page and into the position, I already defined that one of the URL as a back comment and the replay and that will be the post method. Okay. So right now they have only one field and also one of the another field as a hidden field as a post ID because I want to add that comment with related with this post ID and also after that I create one of the route for this one so that is our comments replay and then in our comment controller that is the store method so now we have to work in our store method so let's create it so now in our comment controller here after that I want to create one of the another method as a public and then function and then I will just define as a store okay I just define on the store and into the store first of all I have to do I have to actually get that request so here I just define that store request so if we create the actually resourceful controller then automatically all the things will be visible in here okay so here I just define the request and also another variable I just define as a request and now into this position I want to do I want to first of all validate that two of this field like here first of all with these I did a lot of the time with the same things like, like as a validate okay I just define that validate and into this position I want to define uh, first of all with this request so here I just define that request okay I just define that request and after that here I just have to do I have to define uh, the bracket okay and then the semicolon and now here I have to do I have to add that field name so first of all here our field name is a comment okay I just define that comment and comment field I just put that things as a required so here I just define as a required so I just define that as a required and also I need another one another one is a I just define on here like here that is actually the comment field and also another field is a post ID so I just define the post ID so in particular that position it should be the post ID and also I just make the things as a required okay so I just define that as a required and after that I want to do first of all that is a, I just define the variable as a comment okay comment and with this comment here I just define that new and our comment model so here I just define our common model or particular that position and also I already use that our comment model in our that area and after that I want to do I want to actually show that name that which user that means with authentication user actually put that comments okay so for the reasons I want to do I just define that comment and with this comment I just define that name I just define that name and after that I just define that authenticate user so here I just define the authenticate and the user model data will be comes uh, from here. That means the user model that field name. So here I just define that user model field get on particular that position as a name. That means the user name will be visible on here. Okay. And after that our field. So that is actually the comment field. So I just define it. Okay. Comment and then I just define that comment field name. And I just pass through with this request so here I just define that request okay with this request I just define that comment so here I just define it and also I have to do the same things for our another field as a post ID but I just copy it okay I just defining it on particular that position that should be the post ID so sorry that post ID and that should be the post ID and after that I want to save the data so here I just define as a comment and then I want to save it so here I just define that save on particular that position 
okay and after that save i want to return return and then redact redact with and redact here i want to add the route on particular that position like here i show you i just define that route for this one and into the route here i define that um, that is actually the comments list okay so here i just define that comment list so I just define that comment list and after that here I just define our two of this field like there should be the one the ID so here I just define that things with the array better okay I just define that our ID and also I want to define our post ID so here I just defining our post ID on particular that position uh, so that is actually the request with this post ID so I just pass that post ID on particular that area so I hope you can well understand about it. It means this route I want to access this comment list here. If you go to that positions like here, you can see that I just assigned that things with the comments list, and also they have the after that comment there is the ID. So this ID I just referred that things on here. So with this ID, okay, and this ID will be I just put that things with this request. That is this request with the post ID. Okay, I hope you can well understand about it. So this ID actually our this url id that means this on particular that position i just define one of the id so here i have to defining it and after that i just want to show some of the message with with okay so here i just define that with and also i want to define one of the success message so here i just define the success message and our message will be as a comment replied successfully Okay, so this type of message will be displayed and then after that there is a semicolon and here one thing here I use the auth in okay so we have to also add that auth so here I just define use use auth okay I just define that auth on particular that position I hope you can well understand about it so now let's check this out if everything okay it should be work like I just click on the save all and here in particular that position so better I just comes from the beginning like that is actually the comments and in particular that position there is a replay button and here I want to replay with these comments okay like here I just define that replay and particular that position I just define that high so this type of one of the comments and here I just define as a submit and here some of the error um, there is a field status doesn't have any default value you can see they have also one of the field as the status like here if you go to that position you can see there is also one of the field as the status so we have to assign some of the default one of the value on particular that position so i actually miss it so after that authenticate user here i just want to add that so here is defined as a comment okay with this our field name as the status i just define that default value as a zero so now that is the comments and the post id and after that i just want to save it and then i just define that route with the post id and you know replay like that is on list space and into this position here you can see when i click on the replay then here i just define that things as the id so here it should be actually uh, with this id that means the post id so here i just defining that post id on particular that position okay there is a row and then paste id so that's all maybe uh, so here I already defined that uh, replay ID so that the view so it should be now perfect so now let's check this out I just click on the save all and here I just going back and now I click on the post I click on the comments so now there is actually the two comments so now I want two comments for this for this post and now click on the replay and here I just define as a high this is nice post so this type of comments i click on the submit yes you can see now these comments replaced successfully and after this is now redacted to our comments list page so that is actually the uh, comments created by the admin so so for the reasons i just defining on particular that position as a authentication user will be actually showing that name okay so I hope now you can well understand about it. So now it's automatically showing that authenticate username. So right now I'm already logged in with the admin. So for the results it's now showing as an admin. So now they have the another field as a status. So also in particular that position I assign one of the button as a published or unpublished. 
So if you want to publish this comment, then there are option for the publish. So if you click on here, then these comments will be the published. Okay, so how can do that work in our next video? I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.